Hi friends, in this session of probability, we study about the theorems related to the probability. Basically, there are two important theorems of probability we have. Uh, the number one is addition theorem and number two is multiplication theorem. In addition theorem, there are two cases. Number one, where the events are mutually exclusive and where the events are not mutually exclusive. If the events are mutually exclusive, then how we get the probability of both the events together. So the addition theorem states if two events A and B are mutually exclusive, the probability of occurrence of either A or B is the sum of individual probability of A and B. Symbolically, we could write that the probability of event A or B is equal to probability of A union B. We could symbolically mention it this way or is equal to probability of A plus probability of A. It is the summation of both the uh, uh, probability of both the events. So let us explain with an tutor track example. So we see here one example. I have written here one question. Look at here in this example. One card is drawn from a well shuffled deck of 52 cards. What is the probability that it is either a king or a queen? So we know that in the deck of 52 cards, there are four cards of king we have. So the probability of getting a king, we assume it is P of A or we could say let the event of getting a king is A, let A is the event of getting a king. And B is the event of getting a queen. So we know that in a deck of 52 cards, there are four cards of king we have. So we could write in this way, the probability of A is the favorable outcomes. We have four, we have four kings in a deck of 52 cards and the total number of cards are 52. So we have four over 52. If we simplify this, we get here four one time and four 30 times. So finally we get here 1 over 13 and probability of probability of B so we know that there are four cards of queen we have in a deck of 52 cards the so probability of queen we are getting here also 4 over 52 again we get here 1 over 13 if we simplify this for one times and for 13 times 1 over 13. So we know that the P of A or B or the P of A union B. So look at here because P of A union B is equal to P of A plus P of B is the summation of both probability. Both the, both the events are mutually exclusive because if you are getting king, you are not getting queen. If you are getting queen, you are not getting king. So there is a, uh, the events are mutually exclusive to each other. Now we put down the value here. Probability of A union B is equal to probability of A. We have 1 over 13 and the probability of B, we also have 1 over 13. If we simplify this, we get here finally probability of A union B is equal to 13 we are taking common and here 1 plus 1 is 2 over 13. So this is our answer. This is the probability that it is either a king or a queen. The out of 13 chance we are getting two chance where the cards would be a king or a queen. So this is the, the case of case one of the first theorem, the addition theorem I explained here. Now look at here case two. 
when the events are not mutually exclusive. So look at here, not when events are not mutually exclusive or in other words, it is possible for both events to occur, the addition rule must be modified in such a way. The probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B where P of A is the probability of A happening, P of B is the probability of B happening and P of A intersection B is the probability of A and B happening together. So look at here with a tutor track example we I explain you in detail. Uh, a card is drawn from a well shuffled deck of 52 cards. What is the probability of getting a king or a red card? So look at here, let A is the event of getting a king. And B is the event of getting a red card. So the probability of A, if you see here, the probability of A because we know that there are four cards of king in the deck of 52 cards. So we are getting the probability of A, a king, getting a king is 4 over 52. And probability of getting a red card, it means the probability of P of B is we have 26 red cards in a deck of 52 cards. So there are 26, we have favorable outcomes and the total number of cards are 52. And we know that the two cards which are king as well as red cards, two red kings we have, two red cards which are king we have. Here we have two cards which are king as well as red cards. So the probability of intersection B we get here. 2 over 52, two cards which are king as well as red card. So now we use the theorem uh, of case 2. Uh, we have modified this uh, theorem symbolically. The probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. So we apply this formula here because probability of a union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Therefore, probability of A union B is equal to probability of A we have 4 over 52 Probability of B, we have 26 over 52 and probability of A intersection B, we have 2 over 52. If we simplify this, so we get here probability of A union B is 4 plus 26 minus 2 over 52. There implies that probability of A union B is equal to 4 plus 26, 30 minus 2, 28 over 52. If we simplify this, 4, 7 times 28, 4, 13 times 52. So finally we get here, therefore, Probability of 
a union b is equal to say 1 over 13. So in this way we could find out the probability in the case 2 where the events are not mutually exclusive. So here we are getting a, the probability of a card which is king or a red card or maybe both which may be a king which may be a red king okay. So in this way we could find out the probability using the addition theorem. Now I explain you the multiplication theorem. So first I define what is multiplication theorem basically. Uh, the multiplication theorem states that if two events A and B are independent, the main thing here the events must be independent. The probability that if they both will occur is equal to the product of their individual probability. Here the product of their individual probability in addition theorem we are the summation of individual probability. Here the product of individual over probability. So P of A and B is equal to P of A intersection B is equal to P of A into P of B. So here is a product of both the uh, probability individually. Now I explain this multiplication theorem with a tutor tech example. So look at here. A man wants to marry a girl having qualities. Number one, white complexion. The probability of getting such a girl is 1 in 20. It is given to us. Handsome dowry. The probability of getting this is 1 in 50. Third one is westernized manner and adequates. The probability here is 1 in 100. Find out the probability of his getting married to such a girl when the position of these three attributes is independent. So, oh, we see how we get this. So, first, uh, I explain you late. A is the event of getting a girl possess white complexion. Where B is the event of getting handsome dory. Handsome dory and Seize the event of getting a girl with westernized manners and etiquettes. manners and etiquettes. So, we could write the probability of A is given to us here white complexion the probability of getting such a girl is 1 in 20 it means 1 over 20. Probability of B and some dowry if we are getting with a girl, the probability of getting this is 1 in 50. So 1 over 50. And probability of C, westernized manner and antiquates girl, the probability here is 1 in 100. It is 1 over 100. So all the attributes are independent to each other. 
So if you have to find out the probability of A intersection B intersection C because we have to find out the probability of A intersection B intersection C. The, all the three attributes should be in a one goal. So it is the intersection of all the attributes. So we have to get the product of all the individual probability. So P of A into P of B into P of C. So look at here, we are getting P of A 1 over 20, 1 over 50 and 1 over 100. So we get the product of these all. We get here It is 5 to the 10, it is 1000 and it is 100. So it is 1 egg. 1 over 1 leg is the probability of therefore P of A intersection, B intersection, C. And finally, we are getting P of A intersection, B intersection, C, which is 1 over 1 leg. So in this way, we could find out the probability of independent events. So this is the multiplication theorem I have explained you. So in the next session, we study about the conditional probability. Thank you.